Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Kim and in this session we'll be practicing about 40-45 minutes of vinyasa flow with the emphasis of opening and stretching our front bodies. So we'll be doing a number of back bends throughout the session and no matter where you are in your practice, I'll cue to all levels. So hopefully, again, no matter where you are in your practice, you'll find a um, variation that works for you today. And regardless of whether you go to the full expression or not, just remember that showing up onto your mat, making this choice is more than enough. So thank you, thank you, thank you for making this choice. For our peak posture today, we are doing Natarajasana or King Dancer Pose. And with that, we'll be using a strap to get into it and to help prep for it. Um, if you don't have a strap, you can use a belt, a scarf, anything that's long enough to loop around your leg and swing over your head. Um, but if you happen to be somewhere where you don't have any of these, maybe you're traveling or somewhere remote, then I'll also show um, regular dancer pose where you don't need any props at all and you'll get the same uh, benefits of the posture through that variation. I'd like to give a special thanks to all of you who have been here since the beginning of this channel and we've just reached 200 subscribers so welcome to our new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Um, I post weekly on this channel multiple times a week with content ver uh, varying from yoga sessions to tutorials, vlogs, all the jams. And if you have any specific requests or suggestions that you'd like to see or any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will do my best to respond. If you found this session helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're not already and share with anybody else who you may feel may find this content helpful for them. And with all that said, let's begin our practice. Balasana. Child's pose. Draw your big toes to touch. Open your knees wide. Send your hips towards your heels as you extend your arms towards the top of your mat. Resting your forehead to the earth. Option to stay here or option to bend your elbows, touch your palms, and reach your thumbs towards the back of your neck. A little extra stretch into the triceps, shoulders. It's just extra. You can also place your elbows onto blocks if you'd like a little more juicy stretch. But take your practice at whatever pace, however far or not far you'd like to go. Just showing up onto your mat, you are receiving whatever you need at this time. So congrats and thank you for showing up. Begin to tune into your breath, in and out through your nose, observing the inhale and the exhale, breathing into your low belly, ribs, chest, upper back, and exhaling, reversing all the way down to your hips. Just ground down into the present moment. Engage Ujjayi breath or victorious breath. In and out through your nose, slight restriction in the back of your throat, creating an oceanic sound, kind of like you're fogging up a glass. So create that sound as you inhale and exhale. Inhale, rise up to tabletop, come to all fours, stack your shoulders over your wrist, hips over your knees. And then inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, send your gaze up to the sky, tailbone up. Exhale, cat, round your spine, chin to your chest, tailbone down. Breath to movement, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last inhale. 
exhale. Return your spine to a neutral tabletop. Keep your hips over your knees as you walk your hands to the top of your mat. Lower your forehead down, either to the earth or on a block. Puppy pose. In yin, this is called heart melting pose. So emphasizing as you inhale into your shoulders, your chest stretch. As you exhale into your low belly, Empty, empty. Few breaths here. If your neck permits, option to draw your chin forward. A little extra stretch, soften through the throat, the jaw. Two more breaths, please. Nice. If you lowered your chin, return your forehead down to the earth. Everyone, gently press into your palms and lift back into a tabletop. Tuck your toes underneath and then send your hips up and back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Just a couple pedals, bend one knee, bend the other, just getting into your hips, the backs of your legs, your feet. Spread your fingers wide and press your palms down and away from you. Good, and then to find stillness into your down dog, hands are shoulder width distance, feet are hip width distance. And then look between your palms, walk your feet behind your wrists. So feet, top of the mat, hip width distance, maybe even wider. Uttanasana, fold at the top. Reach for opposite elbows and hang heavy. You can choose movement, stillness, whatever calls to you at this moment. But use your exhale to decompress your spine, the backs of your legs. Release. Shake your head yes, no, maybe. And if you found movement in your folds, find stillness. Release your hands to the mat, toe heel your big toes to touch, a little space between your heels. And then inhale, halfway lift your spine. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms wide and up. Touch your palms at the top. Exhale, samastitahi. Hands by your side. Standing at attention. Connect your hands to your heart center. Setting your intention for at least this session. Could be a word, a phrase, a person, an animal. Something that you can dedicate your practice towards with every breath, with every move that you choose. You're sending energy and feeding, sort of like watering your intention like a seed. Hold your intention into your heart space as we inhale for Aum. If you close your eyes, gently blink your eyes open. Surya Namaskar A, Sun A. Inhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Reach your arms wide and up. Touch your palms, gaze up. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold over your legs. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Hands to your shins or the earth. Exhale, step back to high plank. Plant your palms, step your feet to the back of your mat. Pull your belly button up towards your spine, hugging your internal organs. And either stay here or hinge forward two inches. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower your chest halfway, chataranga, low plank. Untuck your toes, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, adho mukha downward. Send your hips up and back and breathe. You can always skip those vinyasas, modify as per usual. You can place your knees down or add extra push-ups, whatever's your jam today. Okay, take a breath in and exhale, empty. Look forward, step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift spine. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana, reach wide and up, receive light. 
Exhale, samastiti hi, stand at attention. We go one more time. Inhale, dadasana. Exhale, uttanasana, fold. Inhale, ardha uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, step or hop back to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, adho mukashvanasana. And breathe. Soften through the jaw, the throat, the eyes. And take a breath in. Exhale, release. Step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift your spine. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, mountain pose, Dadasana. Samastitihi, exhale. Second one, Sun B. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Bend your knees, reach your hands high at the same time. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold and release. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway into your vinyasa. Take it home. We meet downward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three legged dog. Reach your right, hand, right leg to the sky. Flex your toes towards the earth. And then exhale, step your foot between your palms. Separate your feet hip width distance, maybe even wider, and keep your back heel lifted. Maintain this foundation as you inhale, rise up to crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. Stack your shoulders over your hips and keep breathing. Front knee over your front ankle and energetically press your back heel into an imaginary wall. Steering left hip forward, right hip back. Mountain in your spine. Inhale here. Exhale, open arm twist to your right. Swing your right arm back, left palm forward. Gaze towards your right fingertips. Keep your shoulders over your hips and inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale to twist. Exalted warrior, reach your right hand to your back leg. Reach your left hand to the sky and gaze up towards your left palm. Gentle back bend, hugging your low belly in to support the back bend and your spine. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Ground your left heel down. Extend your left hand and right hand in opposite directions. Gaze beyond your right fingertips. Again, front knee over your front ankle. Energetically pull your heels in towards each other. Engage your inner thighs and your belly. Inhale, reverse warrior. Swing your left hand to your back leg. Reach your right hand up to the sky. Stretch to your right side. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the earth. Move through your vinyasa. Exhale, downward dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Other side, inhale, three-legged dog, extend your left heel to the sky, flex your toes to the earth, level off the hips. Exhale, step your foot between your palms. Again, feet are hip width distance or wider on train tracks, imagine. And then maintaining this foundation, inhale, rise up to crescent lunge, high crescent, Anjanayasana. Keep breathing here. Again, belly button to your spine and up to your heart. This is Uddiyana Bandha or ab lock. Ease through the shoulders, long neck. Arms are straight above your head. Inhale here. Exhale, open arm twist to your left. Left hand reaches back. Reach your right hand forward. Again, option to gaze towards your left fingertips to get into cervical spine twist. That's your neck. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Exalted warrior, extend your left hand to the back of your right thigh. Reach your right hand to the sky. Balance challenge, gaze up towards your right hand and keep breathing. 
Inhale. Exhale, warrior two, rainbow your right hand back. Ground your right heel down to the earth. Extend your left hand forward. Gaze beyond your left fingertips. And keep breathing. Again, staying energized in your legs. Try to balance the weight between both left and right leg. And then keep your legs as they are. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your right hand to your back leg. Extend your left hand to the sky. And then tilt your spine to the back. Stretch to your right side. Inhale. And then exhale. Chataranga Vinyasa. Cartwheel your hands down. And move through your flow. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. We'll move breath to movement through that flow. Inhale, look forward. Step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Utkatasana, chair pose. Inhale, sit low, reach high. Exhale, Samastitahi, straighten legs, stand at attention. Utkatasana, inhale, sit low, reach high. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold and release. Inhale, Ardhottanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, Vinyasa. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your right heel high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through to a low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana, rise high. Exhale, open arm twist to your right. Inhale, exalted warrior, tilt your spine, back bend. Exhale, warrior two, ground your heel down. Inhale, reverse warrior, smooth like a wave, stretch right side. Exhale, vinyasa. Exhale, downward dog, adho mukha svanasana. Inhale, three-legged dog, extend your left heel to the sky. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Anjanayasana, inhale, crescent lunge, reach your hands up to the sky. Exhale, open arm twist to your left. Inhale, exalted warrior, extend your spine up and back. Exhale, warrior two, ground your right heel down. Inhale, reverse warrior, keep your front knee where it is, stretch left side. Exhale, vinyasa. Ride the wave of your breath. And then exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And breathe. Reset. Just allow that flow to receive into your body. All the energy, the prana moving. Simply observe and allow. Thank you, thank you. And then inhale, fill up. Stay for the exhale. Walk your hands to your feet at the back of your mat. So you're gonna fold in the back of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift your spine. Exhale, fold back down. Toe heel your big toes to touch, a little space between your heels. And then inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, sit low, reach high. Keep breathing here. Touch your palms above your head and then reach the thumbs to the back of your neck. Bend your elbows, reverse namaskar. Kind of like when we were in child's pose if you chose that option. And sit low into your chair as you reach your elbows forward and up, stretching through your triceps, your chest. Sink a little lower into your seat. Exhale, empty, empty. And then inhale, mountain pose. Keep your arms straight in your legs. Reach your elbows up and then gentle back bend. Press your hips forward, hugging your hips and your belly in to support. Gaze up to the sky. Inhale. 
And then exhale, Samastitihi, release your hands by your side. Neutral. Nice. And then step your right leg forward about three feet or so, depends on your body. Head into Parshvottanasana or Pyramid Pose. Hands to your hips. So both heels are grounded, back heels at an angle, right toes are straight forward. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward to square your hips. Nice, scissoring the inner thighs and then hold your hips here. Hands are either at fist to fist, grabbing the opposite elbows or reverse namaskar, reverse prayer. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, lower your chest halfway. Keep pulling your right hip back, left hip forward. And then either stay here, great place to stay if you have back sensitivities. Or exhale, fold forehead towards your shin. If your forehead's on your shin, then reach your nose. If your nose reaches, then reach your chin. It's just extra. But wherever you are, stretch through the backs of your right legs. On the exhale, complete the exhale. Always option to release your hands to the earth, but as best as you can, keep the bind. Complete your exhale, empty, empty, empty. Then inhale, rise up, back to standing. And then pivot on your heels. Face your toes to the back of your mat now. So left leg is now forward, right toes is in the back. So again, find your foundation. Right foot is at an angle, left toes facing straight forward or <laughs> towards the back of your mat, um, which is now forward. <laughs> And then again, engage your bind, fist to fist, elbows to elbows, a reverse prayer. Squaring off your hips, scissoring inner thighs, inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, hover your chest halfway and keep pulling left hip back, right hip forward. And then again, option to stay here or exhale, extend your spine forward and down. First forehead to shin, then your nose, then your chin. Soften through the jaw, the throat. And as you exhale, relax the back of your left leg. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And complete your exhale here. Empty, empty, empty. And then on the inhale, lift your spine back up to standing. Pivot your toes back to face the front of your mat and then just step your left foot to meet the right. Samastitihi at the top of your mat. Nice. So we're going to head into dancer pose, uh, specifically king dancer pose. So we'll be using a strap to work into this posture. You may or may not need it. And we'll begin on our left leg this time. We always start on our right leg. That's just traditional, um, but why not start on the left leg? So let's start on the left leg, starting in mountain pose, strap into your left hand, lean into your left leg, maintaining mountain pose into your left side body as you lift your right knee towards your chest. So bend your right knee, one-legged mountain pose, flex the foot, grab your strap in both hands, and then loop your strap underneath the ball of your right foot. Okay, so your foot is stepping into your strap and then place your strap into your right hand, bending your elbow, using your bicep to hold your leg. Imagine you're standing on both feet and then find one point of focus in front of you to help you balance. This is dharana or concentration. You can either stay here to focus on the balance or step two, backpack your leg around your shoulder. Mm -hmm. I'll show that one more time. So you'll swing your strap and your leg back, bending your knee. So now your right leg is kicking your glute. Cool. And then draw your knees back in line with one another, maintaining mountain in your left side. Either stay here or maybe reach both hands for the strap above your head. Again, just like that reverse prayer in our child's pose or in our chair pose. And this is it. This is king dancer pose. 
can stay here, practice the balance, or begin to kick and pull into your strap. This will lift your leg up, tilting your chest forward. Again, keep your focus. Look ahead. Look forward to go forward. If you look down, you'll fall down. As you kick and pull, maybe begin to walk your hands closer towards your foot along the strap. Again, keep breathing, keep breathing, focus. If you fall out, that's okay. Get back into it. Nice, and then same way we came back in, just reverse, so loosen up the strap. Draw your knees back in line with each other. Return your strap onto your shoulder and then unbackpack, knee back forward in front of you, and then release right foot to the earth. Nice, so that's one side. <laughs> now to the other side. Hold your strap into your right hand, lean into your right side now, maintain mountain in your right side body. As you lift from your belly, your left knee, one-legged mountain, immediately find your drishti, your point of focus to concentrate and balance. And then grab your strap in both hands, loop your strap into the ball mount of your left foot holding the strap into your left hand. Use your bicep to support your leg. And again, imagine you're stepping with both feet. And then again, option to stay here, focus on balancing, or option to swing, backpack your left leg behind you. Do that one more time. Swing, backpack, around. Nice. Draw your knees back in line with one another. And then you can stay here or perhaps reach both hands overhead for the strap. This is King Dancer, Natara Jasana. You're doing it. Congratulations. Also, if you're not doing it, congratulations. Either stay here or kick and pull into the strap to lift the leg, lift the arms. Keep pulling and kicking. Maybe walk your hands closer towards your foot. Again, everything is just extra. Keep breathing, keep balancing. Wherever you are, you're good, you're enough. Nice, and then reverse, loosen up the strap. Draw your knees back in line with one another. Unbackpack your leg. Knees back forward, and then foot back to earth. And then shake it out. Ah, nice. Nice work, everyone. Release the strap. Thank you, strap. <laughs> and then let's flow down to our mat. Inhale, mountain pose, reach widen up. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, halfway lift your spine. Exhale, move through your vinyasa. Option to head straight to down dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, extend your right heel up to the sky. Exhale, half pigeon pose. Reach your right knee towards your right wrist. Parallel, drop your shin to the earth and then work towards paralleling your shin to the top of your mat. And this will depend on your flexibility. So if you have knee sensitivities or hip sensitivities or any history of injuries, take this on your back, figure four. I'll show right here. Same stretch, just a different access. Not, one is not better than the other, just know that. But in pigeon pose, stay upright in your spine, stretch your hip flexor for a few breaths, inhale. And exhale. And then inhale, lengthen spine. And then exhale, crawl your fingertips to the top of your mat, folds into sleeping pigeon, forehead either to a block or to the earth. And then this posture redirects your stretch to your outer right hip. And perhaps you still feel it into your left hip. Just observe whatever sensations you're receiving at the moment. Everyone has a different experience, so honor yours. And wherever you are, stay with the breath. Use the breath to relax your right hip.
Imagine there's a lung in your right hip. As you inhale, space. As you exhale, releasing. Last breath, inhale, fill up. And em exhale, empty. Gently, if you're in a sleeping pigeon, press yourself up onto your palms. And then step your foot back, downward facing dog, stretch out your legs. Nice, and then other side, inhale, extend your left heel to the sky. Exhale, half pigeon, left knee, left wrist, lower down your shin. And then find the angle that works for you on this side. You'll find our sides are different, so observe and adjust as needed or as you'd like. Keep your left foot flexed to protect the knee. And then a few breaths here into... And if you found figure four on your back, just switch your legs. And then stretch on this side, pull your knee in towards your chest. If you're in half pigeon, lengthen your spine, say a few breaths, stretch your right hip flexor, the front part of your right hip. And then inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, sleeping pigeon, walk your hands forward, lower your forehead down to either a block or to the earth. Stretch your left hip. Again, breathing into the lung of your left hip. Inhale, space. Exhale, release. Thanking our hips for all they endure, all the pressure they endure as we sit and stand, walk all day. Thank you, hips. Thank you, thank you. And then take a breath in, fill up. Exhale, release. Gently, if you're in sleeping pigeon, press yourself up onto your palms. And then exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And then look between your palms, step, hop, or jump through between your feet. And then find your way onto your back, lay down. Settle in. Set up for bridge pose. Bend your knees, plant your heels, hip width distance by your glutes. Set to Bandhasana, bridge pose. Inhale, lift your hips up towards the sky. Roll your tailbone forward, soften through your belly and your jaw and your throat and your heart. Interlace your fingers underneath for chest expansion. Press your elbows down. Shimmy your shoulders underneath. And then use your legs, your arms to press down as you lift and stretch your front body. Soften through your throat. Maintain space between your chest and your chin. And then exhale, release the bind. Release your spine back onto the earth. Knock your knees in towards each other, separate your heels, broken bridge. And we'll do a second set of back bends. You can either do the same thing, bridge pose. You can do supported bridge, take a block underneath your hips and then rest. If you have wheel in your practice or you feel ready for it, plant your palms by your ears, fingers facing your shoulders, and then inhale, come up to the crown of your head. And then as you exhale, lengthen your arms, lengthen your legs into full wheel pose. Use your arms, use your legs, but relax the back, relax the shoulders. Steady breathing, conscious breathing. And 
And then whatever variation you're in, exhale, release back down onto the earth. Flat spine, hug your knees into your chest. And then rock side to side. Thank you, body. Thank you, self. Thank you, back. <laughs> And then keep your right knee into your chest. Extend your left leg long onto your mat. Knee towards your armpit into your side ribs. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist. Reach your right knee towards your left side body. Adjust your hips so that your hips are stacked-ish. And then draw your right arm out to a T. Option to, again, twist through your cervical spine, your neck. Gaze towards your right fingertips. And then just allow your breath, allow the posture to do the work here. Tap into your yin energy, the more soft, receptive, feminine energy. No need to do or force anything, just be. And then return your knee back to center. Hug your left knee to meet the right. Reset your spine. And then switch. Keep your left knee in. Extend your right leg long onto your mat. Pull your left knee towards your left armpit on the sides of your ribs. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist. Reach your left knee towards your right side body. Adjusting your hips to stack best as you can. Extend your left arm long. Keep your shoulders rooted. And then again, option to gaze towards your left palm. Supine twist. Soften with the exhale. Receive whatever you need in this posture with every breath. And then return your left knee back to center. Right knee meets the left. Hug your knees in, rock side to side. And then Ananda Balasana, happy baby pose. Open your knees, bend your knees, and then reach for either the outside or the inside of your feet. If your tailbone's lifting, grab for the inner thighs to flatten your spine, sacrum onto the earth. And then use your arms as weight onto your legs to stretch your hips. Option for movement, stillness. Again, whatever calls to you at this moment. It's your practice. And then hug your knees into your chest. Ball pose. Wrap your arms around your legs. Give yourself a big, big hug. Draw your forehead towards your knees. If you can reach, kiss your thighs, perhaps, your knees, rather. Thank you, body. Thank you, self, for showing up and doing this work. Inhale. Exhale, release your legs and arms onto your mat. Shavasana, corpse pose. Make any adjustments to lay comfortably, setting up any props you'd like or need. And soften through the breath, let go of control. Just simply notice your breath as it is. Relaxing the body from toes all the way to the crown of the head. The eyes, the backs of the eyes, the tongue, release.
And just simply notice your breath. When you happen to notice an exhale, find a little more relaxation, a little more release. And just simply be. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Only thing that matters is the present moment right now. Take a soft inhalation, relax, exhale. Take a slightly deeper inhalation, relax, exhale. Full breath in and full breath out. Begin to wiggle fingers, feet, eyebrows, awaken the physical body. And reach your arms overhead. Good morning, good evening, whatever time of day it is, stretch. Hug your knees into your chest and roll over to your right side for a fetal position. Allow yourself to be held by the earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Earth. In maintaining this sense of ease, make your way up to a seat. Any seat where you can sit with a tall spine. And reconnect your hands to your heart center, Anjali Mudra, divine offering. Thank you, thank you, thank you for offering your time, your energy, your practice, your breath your presence, thank you, truly makes a difference. And thank you to all our teachers and their teachers, the lineage of this practice, all that it offers our lives and the lives around us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May the merits of our practice benefit all everywhere. And let's pray for peace, ease, for all beings everywhere. Inhale. Loka samastaha sukino bhavantu Loka samastaha sukino bhavantu Loka samastaha sukino bhavantu Shanti Shanti, Shanti. Touch your thumb to the space between your eyebrows, your seat of intuition, and bow forward to seal in our practice, honoring the light, the ease, the dancer within each of us. I see me, I see you. When I'm in this place in me and you're in that place in you, we are together, we are one. That is yoga. Namaste. May you be safe and protected. May you be healthy and strong. May you be happy and peaceful. May you be well.